Hi, welcome to another video tutorial looking at the Evidence for Learning app version 2.2. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at grids and how you use them in the Evidence for Learning app. Grids are powerful um, time-saving tools that give you a real-time overview of the evidence in your app. They're great for tracking progress, they're great for planning future activities and lessons and they're great for individual learner plans and IEPs and so on. So we choose menu settings then we tap set up grid templates and what we have to do first is create a grid template. So tap the plus button in the top right of your screen and let's give this grid template a name. Great, so let's add some students and we can pick one student or we can pick multiple students. And now let's add some framework items. So from the EYFS we'll pick communication and language and we'll, we'll select a few of the, the statements um, that we want to track and then when we've picked everything we want we'll tap done. And then lastly we can tap layout settings and this is where we configure some of the, the, the other parameters, so the page size, orientation, the font size um, that's used when displaying the framework items and how to order the students across the top. And then tap legend to specify how to colour in the cells of the grid um, according to how many pieces of evidence there are. So tap save and let's see what this grid looks like. So from the menu we choose make a grid. Then we choose from the templates we've set up and there it is. Real time information showing um, coloured in cells according to the evidence that you have in the app. And you can see from the legend at the bottom of the, the page that um, everything coloured in amber has one recorded observation and everything coloured in green has two or more recorded observations as we specified in the layout settings. And as with the other PDFs in the app, you can send this directly to Google Drive, Dropbox, uh, SkyDrive, uh, other apps, printer, email and so on and all the grids that you make are automatically saved into the documents and grids section within the menu so you can access any of the grids that you've, you've viewed um, at, at a later date and it's worth noting that as with the other documents um, evidence that's in a draft state sort of work in progress um, doesn't get included in these reports and it's also worth noting that grids are one page documents if, if your information doesn't fit on one page you can either change the paper size and, and or the orientation of the paper or you can choose to make two separate grids and spread the data accordingly okay well that's the grids so take a look have a play and uh, let us know what you think well that concludes this tutorial and don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching and please share with your friends and colleagues.